One of Bitcoin's most famous promoters has just turned on the cryptocurrency. Elon Musk tweeting earlier this hour, you cannot buy Tesla with Bitcoin anymore due to the rapidly increasing use of fossil fuels for Bitcoin mining and transactions. Cryptocurrency has long had a huge carbon footprint. Bitcoin plunging on the news here, falling 10%. That's right, people. From now on, people will no longer be able to say, I bought my Tesla with Bitcoin. So now, they'll have to find a new way to be unlikable at parties. But it is shocking to hear this coming from Elon Musk because he has been the guy promoting Bitcoin. And now he says the reason he's doing this is because of environmental concerns. But part of me thinks the truth is he probably just lost his Bitcoin password. I mean, maybe he wrote it down on a post-it note somewhere and lost it or on his kid's birth certificate. But this really goes to show you that Bitcoin has a long way to go as a currency because most established currencies don't go up and down based on a random social media post, right? Like you wouldn't see the effects in real life. Like, can you imagine trying to pay a dollar for a candy bar? But then the cashier is like, whoa, buddy, that stuff's worthless now. Didn't you see Khloe Kardashian's latest selfie? Yeah, (laughs) oh, buddy. Let's move on now to the coronavirus vaccine. It's the reason you now have specific opinions about pharmaceutical companies. Authorities all over the world have been trying out different ways of enticing people to get vaccinated. Today in New York City, Shake Shack announced that it will give free French fries to anyone who shows their vaccination card. And because you're vaccinated, it's safe to suck the ketchup straight out of the dispenser again, which is really cool. Wait, you're not supposed to do that? And free fries are nice, but Ohio, has come up with a gimmick that blows everything else away. Ohio is offering its residents a shot at winning a million dollars along with their COVID vaccine shots. Governor Mike DeWine announced that beginning May 26th, the state will draw one vaccine recipient to win $1 million. This will happen every week for five weeks. Well, Governor, you're you're probably getting an A for creativity, but you're getting an F for it. Huh? Is this the right thing to do? And you're getting bipartisan criticism on both sides. I know that there'll be some people who say, well, that's that's a waste. No, no one has tried this. And we just thought that it was worth to try this to do it. Now, this idea is awesome. I support it 100%. And I know some people will say, but isn't helping to save humanity enough of an incentive to get vaccinated? To which I say, hell no. Have you seen humanity? It's full of jerks who will only get vaccinated if there's money in it for them. I mean, forget vaccines. I think the government should use this for every public health measure. If public bathrooms pumped out a lottery ticket whenever you washed your hands, you'd be able to eat off the doorknobs as opposed to now when we have to open bathroom doors with our elbows like we never evolved hands. <laughs> but hopefully this does convince some anti-vaxxers to get the shots. You know, the only awkward part is that if they actually win, then they're gonna have to explain to their anti-vax friends how they got rich. No, guys, dude, it's totally not what you think, man. No, I, I'm in like human trafficking. Dale, I swear, dude. So look, I support doing whatever it takes to get people vaccinated. But you've got to admit, This is the epitome of a first world problem. How can we convince people to take all the extra vaccines that we have lying around? Hmm, what if we give them all the extra money we have lying around? 